And President Bola Tinubu has been elected chairman of the Authority of Heads of State and Government of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS. As the chairman, President Tinubu is saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that conflict in the region is resolved and that democracy is promoted in West Africa. After receiving his handover documents from the outgoing chairman and president, Umaru Mbalo of Guinea-Bissau, President Tinubu said the regional bloc will take democracy seriously, adding that although TOF it is still the best form of government. Our correspondent, Falashadu Gurunde, tells us more in this next report. This is a 63rd ordinary session of the Authority of ECOWAS Heads of State and Government held in Guinea-Bissau. The meeting, which was well attended, had about 10 heads of state and government and their representatives in attendance. At the meeting, President Bola Tinubu emerged the chairman, making him the ninth Nigerian leader to lead the regional bloc. Tinubu was assumed power in May 2023 after a firstly contested election, said coups which had disrupted democracy in at least three West African states would no longer be tolerated. We will not allow coup after coup West Africa and prisoners. We will take this up seriously with African Union and it's to the European Union and Britain and America. Take it up. It's a challenge. Yes, democracy is very tough to manage, but it's the best form of government. And we all ascribe to it. While calling on member countries to mobilize financial resources to counter terrorism and speed up the economic growth of the region, the immediate past chairman of ECOWAS and president of Guinea-Bissau, Umaru Sisoko Mbalo, voted a military seizure of power in Mali, the Republic of Guinea and Burkina Faso. The seizure of power in Mali, the Republic of Guinea and Burkina Faso through coup d'etat and subsequent prolongation of the transition period represents a regression of the values of democratic rule of law adopted by member states through the supplementary protocol on democracy and good governance. Therefore, the return to constitutional normalcy in these three sister countries is an imperative need for po political stability and the promotion of democratic rule of law and the well-being of the people of our sub-regional community. On his part, the president of ECOWAS Commission, Omar Ture, gave a special tribute to President Mbalo for his determination to deepen democracy in the West African region. Let me salute the democratic credentials of President Mbalo. General Mbalo has not just organized the pres president has not just organized one of the most free and fair parliamentary elections in Guinea-Bissau. He has also accepted the outcome of that process. <laughs> Excellencies, President Balo once said, I want to make Guinea-Bissau a normal country. Organizing free elections and accepting the results is what happens in normal countries. Guinea-Bissau is therefore a normal country under his leadership. Since the creation of ECOWAS on May 26, 1975, the regional bloc has had 34 chairmen with political instability, constant military calls, as well as low financial power being some of the biggest challenges of the regional, political and economic union. Fulashadi Ogurindi, TV360 News.